I still have paint in my hair. Cool. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a different kind of video. We're gonna talk a little tech today. So the other day I put up a boomerang of my current vlog setup and I had an overwhelming amount of DMs asking me to tell you guys what it was. So instead of it just living on my stories for 24 hours, I figured that I would give you a quick review of the Sony ZV-1. This is the current camera that I am vlogging with. If you've stumbled upon this video and you've never seen me before, my name is Nicole. I've been vlogging on YouTube for probably about 10 years. So I would say I got a little bit of expertise. I may not be super technical and use the proper terms like a lot of people do when you watch camera reviews, um, but I'm gonna tell you what I think from a real life point of view and give you all the details, all the attachments, all the tips on making this Sony ZV-1 really, really work for you. I feel like I sounded really professional in that intro. <laughs> All right, but before we get into all the specs, all the attachments, the rig, the light, the pro, the pod, yeah, the pod, the tripod, the pod. <laughs> I quickly want to mention to you guys my audible pick of the month, but I'm gonna cut to some vlog clips that were actually supposed to be in my vlog that went up, what, three weeks ago? I don't know what happened, it got deleted deleted. So I'm gonna throw those clips in right now and then when we get back, it's all about the ZV-1. Alright, we made it home safe. I am parked so quickly before I jump out. I'm gonna have to go in the house and clean. I wanted to give you guys my audible pick of the month. My first audible pick of 2021. It is such a good one, y'all, but if you have never tried audible, I suggest you start because it's honestly the most relaxing thing that I do. So you guys know that I've been partnered with Audible forever now and they have an unmatched selection of books, whatever you want. They have it. They have sleep casts, Audible originals. They also have podcasts now, which I think is really cool. So if you guys want to try Audible for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole or you can text Nicole to 500, 500 And a really cool thing Audible does is if you don't like the audiobook that you downloaded, you can return it and choose a new one. So the audiobook that I currently just finished on my way to get those contractor bags is I needed a Zen second is called joyful and it is so good you guys it's all about like just finding gratitude in ordinary things around you like today after fully listening to the book I think I listened to it only in like two days um, everything just seems brighter it just seems like such a nice beautiful gorgeous day out I mean it really is a beautiful day out we should be out somewhere doing something but instead we're gonna clean like even that though like I'm appreciative to be cleaning today really really good highly recommended so relaxing and I really needed that second of Zen I was like I'll go get the contractor bags so one more time if you want to try audible for yourself you can go to audible.com com slash Nicole and you're in there and seriously if you're having a bad day download joyful and listen now I gotta go clean my house <laughs> all right I'm gonna try not to yell in this video for some reason I feel like I'm like ha ah! like yelling so I'm gonna try to take it down a notch. So this is the Sony ZV-1 camera. It was specifically made for content creators in mind. You'd think that there'd be a lot more cameras like this that kind of were specifically made for people that film themselves, but there's not. This is currently the first one that was targeted to content creators. I do have the attachment on the lens, so the lens doesn't actually look like this, but you'll see when I talk about it, I just can't take this guy off. So when I first purchased this camera, I talked to you guys about it in a vlog and I was just saying that it was an amazing camera but it was way too close to my face like I felt like all you could see was my hairline and my chin I was coming from vlogging with a 10 millimeter lens which is super super wide if you don't know anything about camera lenses and the millimeter and the number the lens that comes on this camera which is an attached lens you can't take it off like some Sony cameras is basically a 24 to 70 millimeter with the zoom that comes on the camera so the lower the number Number, the wider the shot and the higher the number the closer the shot so 24 millimeters to vlog yourself on is pretty pretty close especially like I said coming for me who was vlogging on 10 millimeters so when I first got this I was like "Ugh, I can't use this thing it's all up in my face it's all in my eyes I loved everything else about this guy so some quick specs on this Sony ZV-1 before I jump into my creation of what I think is currently the best vlogging setup not only the best but the lightest in weight 
and vlogging cameras. That is important because I've vlogged with some pretty heavy cameras. So this guy does have 4K shooting ability, even though I always shoot in 1080p because it's just a lot faster to edit for me, but it does have the capability to shoot in 4K. It also has slow-mo on it, which is really, really cool. I'm pretty sure that it takes amazing pictures. I myself just have never taken a picture on it. I solely use it to film. It has a three-directional mic on it, which is amazing because when you're filming yourself, you're actually getting really nice sounding audio without having to add any external mics or attachments. Even though you can add an external mic to this, I just find that it's not necessary. It does come with the dead cat. I didn't name that, so don't get mad at me. It's just like that little fluffy thing that goes on top to kind of uh, shield the wind a little more. I've never used it, and I find that I don't really need it. Also, I love that the screen flips out, so you're able to see yourself, but it also rotates 360 degrees, basically. So when you're filming like this, you can actually get like these really good shots. You can shoot low and turn it up so that you can see it, and you're not like struggling to see what's happening on the LCD screen. The only thing that I don't like about the screen is if you're wearing glasses that are polarized, you can't see the screen. It's black. You can't see it. So that's a bummer for me because I vlog a lot in my car and I have sunglasses on so I'm always like checking to see. There are a bunch of different modes on the camera that you can choose from. I usually always shoot on intelligent auto because it just allows me to grab the camera and start shooting and not really have to worry about the settings. It has a massive record button on the top of it. You don't have to kind of guess and figure out like am I touching the on and off button and the zoom button. And also when you hit record, I love the fact that a red light will come on the front to let you know that you are filming yourself just so you know. You don't know how many times you think that you're filming and you're actually not. So I think that's a really nice feature. One of my favorite things on the camera is the defocus mode. You can actually blur your background out or you can leave it clear. For me, I always hit defocus, but if you do want a nice clear background, that is also there. So you can just click this button on top and you can go between a defocused background, which is this right here, or you can switch to a clear background where everything is in focus. For me, I always have it on defocus because I just like that little bit of blur that it gives to the background. And it has a really amazing auto focus on this guy. It will auto focus to your eyes so that no matter where you're looking or how much you're moving, it is always dead focused on you. And there's product showcase, which is really nice. If you have that, you can turn it on or you can turn it off. And it's just like when you're trying to show somebody something like this, it auto focuses super, super fast so that you're not like, let me, let me get this in the shot, you know. You know if you've ever tried to focus anything, it always wants to focus on your face. So if I miss any of the specs on the camera, I will kind of put them on the screen or maybe down in the bottom bar just in case I want to tell you something that I forgot to tell you in this video because I really want to get to building the perfect, lightest vlogging setup I think that there ever has been. The clips that I inserted earlier and my last vlog that I uploaded were actually filmed on the Sony A7C, which is an amazing camera, but it's huge and it's heavy and the lens weighs a lot and you can't really fit it in your bag. It's just not a convenient camera to vlog with and this guy if you didn't have this lens attachment could legit fit in your pocket so after I vlogged those couple of weeks with that Sony a7c I was like this is just not practical for me to be vlogging on like it's too big I'm never gonna want to carry it anywhere so I was determined to make this Sony ZV-1 work for me so the first thing that I found was this wide angle extender from Ulanzi. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Basically all the products I'm going to show you are by them, which I didn't even realize until I sat down to make this video, but they make some really nice attachments for the Sony ZV-1 and just camera things in general. So the way that this works, the one attachment is already attached to the lens. Just know that if you are going to attach this wide angle lens to your Sony ZV-1 that you can't take it off, okay? It's not like a detachable lens that you can screw on and off. The macro part of the lens you adhere with like this little sticky ring. You stick it straight to your camera. That's it right there. You can kind of see the lip sticking out and then you screw the wide angle attachment lens onto it. And now with this lens attachment, it becomes an 18 millimeter lens instead of a 24. So it does give you a little bit of focal length to play with. So this is what it looks like with the lens on distance wise. And this is what it looks like with it off. Like, uh, it's definitely a difference. <laughs> At first I was like, ah, but yeah, for sure. The lens attachment does have a little bit of added weight to it, but I've been turning this guy on and off for weeks and I haven't noticed anything 
I haven't noticed any issues is basically what I'm trying to say. So the next thing is a tripod. I think this is the most tried and true one that you see here on YouTube if you've ever watched anybody's like vlogging setup or what they're using. I feel like everyone is using this Manfrotto tripod. I've used this guy for years. He's amazing. You set him up, you can film with yourself, but this is all you get. This is, this is, this is it. There's no, you can't extend it. This is all that you get. And this guy is actually pretty heavy. For just being this little old tripod, he actually carries a lot of weight, which adds a lot of weight to your vlogging setup. So I found this guy, which is again from Ulanzi, but you can see the difference in size that these guys have. Like this guy is super, super tiny and he's really, really lightweight, but he's actually really sturdy and really secure and he extends. So not only do you get this focal length, but you can get this, you can get this, you can get this. I feel like it's just such a great little addition and you can move this guy around any which way you want. You can also put the legs out so that he is stabilized. I just love this thing. As soon as I got it, I was like, where have you been all of my life? So here's the setup with me just holding it as is, but if I wanted to give myself a little more room, I could stretch you out and hold you here, and now we are vlogging at this length. It is super comfortable. I can keep my arm like close to me, because sometimes when you're vlogging in public, you know, you wanna just like be in your bubble. You don't wanna be like, ah, what's up? No, I don't, that's, that's not how I vlog. So I like that I can be like close to myself, but the camera still has a little distance. And then if I want a little more, I can just pull my arm back. It's still really comfortable and it's so light. It's getting a little roasty and toasty in here. The next thing that I noticed was when this tripod was on, I couldn't get to my battery and my SD card, which is here. The tripod is actually blocking me from getting into it. So every time you'd want to change your SD card or your battery, you'd have to unscrew your tripod to get into your little slot. And I was just like, well, that's not working for me. So then I found this little teeny tiny rig. There's tons of different rigs that you can get for your Sony camera, ones that you can add all different kinds of attachments on, and then super simple ones like this. This is basically all that I needed to attach to the bottom. You attach it to the same spot that you would attach your tripod to. It comes with a little teeny tiny screwdriver. So I'm just gonna screw this little guy in. But after you have it attached, you can see you have all these little different ports that you can attach your tripod to now. And I just usually go over here to the furthest one. And now you can easily access your SD card and your camera without having to take your tripod off. I know it seems like it's not that big a deal, but believe me, when you're like vlogging and you just wanna switch something really quick, to just have one extra step to do to take it off, you're just like, why would they put this here? So I feel like this little guy really adds a lot and you don't even notice that he's on the actual camera. So that is my third one. And then my last one is a light. This guy is super duper lightweight. You attach him here to the top. You could do a mic there if you wanted a light and just screw this down and you're good to go. So the light itself has five different settings on it. It is rechargeable. It has an on and off switch here. The majority of the time I just leave the light on because it really doesn't add a lot of extra weight to the camera, but it is super simple. Like if you want it to go somewhere and you, it was daylight and you didn't really need the light, you can easily pull it off, keep it in your bag. And then if nighttime rolled around and you needed a little bit of extra light, you could pop this guy right on. The day that I ended up putting this whole setup together, I was just in shock at how light this full setup with your tripod, your baby rig on it, your lens attachment, and a light. I was just, this, this has to only weigh like maybe two pounds, maybe not even two pounds. After so many years of vlogging, I just love this setup so much. It's so lightweight. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but if you have ever vlogged with any kind of camera or anything, give this setup a try. I feel like you will just be in shock with how... <laughs> how light it is and I feel like it's just like so much more convenient to be able to take this with you and vlog with it because it's just it's like throwing your phone in your pocket especially if you took this guy off of it slink it all the way down and this is your little setup right here so that is it for me again anything that I left out will be in the bottom bar as well as links I hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't have anything else to tell you guys except I love you and I will see you super soon in a new video bye guys